Anti-magnetic non-magnetic watches are those that are able to run with minimal deviation when exposed to a certain level of magnetic field. The International Organization for Standardization issued a standard for magnetic resistant watches which many countries have adopted. Topic: ISO 764 Magnetic Resistant Watches Standard. Topic: the international standard ISO 764 Horology — Magnetic Resistant Watches defines the resistance of watches to magnetic fields. According to ISO 764 or its equivalent DIN 8309 Deutsches Institut für Norming — German Institute for Standardization a watch must resist exposition to a direct current magnetic field of 4800 A per meter. The watch must keep its accuracy to plus or minus 30 seconds per day as measured before the test in order to be acknowledged as a magnetic resistant watch. Annex A of ISO 764 deals with watches designated as magnetic resistant with an additional indication of intensity of a magnetic field exceeding 4800 A per meter. There are two ways of building an anti-magnetic watch. The first way consists of making the moving parts of alloys chosen to be insensitive to magnetic fields. These alloys include Inver iron nickel carbon chromium alloy, Glucidor beryllium bronze alloy, Nivarox iron nickel chromium titanium beryllium alloy, and Elinvar an alloy similar to Inver, though less resistant to magnetism and more resistant to thermal influence. These alloys are preferred by different watchmakers due to their differing properties. Since the 1950s, Nivarox and Glucidor were extensively used by watchmakers. In the 1960s, almost all Swiss watches had Glucidor balance and Nivarox hairsprings. The anchors, escape wheels and other watch mechanisms were also made of non-magnetic metals or alloys. Another way of making a watch non-magnetic is to house the entire movement into a case made of a highly permeable magnetically conductive material. The movement is covered by an additional soft iron clasp to prevent the forming of magnetic fields inside the watch itself. History The first recorded experiments in anti-magnetic watch making are in 1846. Watchmakers from Vacheron Constantine were among the first to experiment with anti-magnetic features of a watch. However, they succeeded in assembling the first anti-magnetic watch only several decades later. That watch was able to withstand magnetic fields because some of its parts were made of non-magnetic metals, the palladium made balance wheel, balance spring and the lever shaft. In 1896 Charles Edouard Guillaume discovered the nickel-based alloy Inver. Afterwards, in 1920, when he received the Nobel Prize in Physics, he developed another alloy, Elinvar. These alloys assisted in the assembly of anti-magnetic watches. Inver and Elinvar are able to resist magnetic fields, allowing the watch to continue to keep accurate time. The first anti-magnetic pocket watch was assembled by Vacheron Constantine in 1915. Later, in 1929, Tissot assembled the first ever non-magnetic wristwatch. Topic. Usage Topic. Since their appearance, anti-magnetic watches have been favored by people who deal with high magnetic fields. They are widespread among electronic engineers and in other professions where strong magnetic fields are present. Today, even divers' watches according to ISO 6, must be anti-magnetic as well as being water-resistant, sufficiently luminous, shock-resistant and have solid straps. Contributions. Topic. After discovering the alloys for assembling anti-magnetic watches, many watchmaking brands utilize such materials in production in order to improve the performance of such timepieces. Topic. IWC Topic. In 1989 IWC first manufactured the Ingenier Reference 3508-1, which was able to withstand huge magnetic fields of up to 500,000 A per meter. Omega The Omega Anti-Magnetic Seamaster 
was announced the 17th of January 2013, e.g. Seamaster Aqua Terra greater than 15,000 Gauss. According to the press release, the Omega movement does not rely on a protective container inside the watch case, but on the use of selected non-ferrous materials in the movement itself. The Omega prototype was subjected to 1.5 Tesla, 15,000 Gauss, and continued to perform. Testing showed that the watch was as accurate after its magnetic exposure as it had been before. Topic. Rolex Topic. The Rolex Milgauss series of antimagnetic certified chronometers was first manufactured in 1954 with the model 6541 for those working in nuclear, aircraft, and medical settings associated with strong magnetic fields. The watch has an advertised magnetic flux density resistance of 1000 Gauss within magnetic fields of 80,000 A per meter. In 2007, after being out of production for nearly two decades a new Milgauss was introduced as the model number 116400. See also Watch Diving watch Shock resistant watch, water resistant watch, Rolex Milgauss. Topic References. Topic High end materials for high end watches. November 3, 2006. Archived from the original on the 11th of July 2011. Topic. External links Topic. Vacheron Constantine and Nonmagnetic Watches